Okay, since it's uh, All Hallows Eve, I am playing Costume Quest. This is not a new game, far from it. Copyright 2011 there. But it is currently on sale at Steam for Halloween. Uh, just over two pounds. So, you know, worth picking up if you want to get the spirit of things. Now, Double Fine are the, the creators of, um, um, I can't remember the name of it, the Point and Click Adventures. The big Kickstarter. Broken Age, that was it. Uh, similarly, similarly has an emphasis on story, even though it's a, uh, you know, technically an RPG. Now we're uh, twins. We've just moved to a new area, and uh, Mum is going to pick one of us to be in charge. So let's be the boy. Obviously, we get on real well. So, we're in a 3D game. We can run around. We can pick up sweets. We don't want to go to our house. Let's go next door. Knock, knock. Now this guy, actually every time you play the game, comes out in a different costume. Which is quite funny. Not impressed. Oh, but next door's got lights on. Let's go and look at that. So, as you can see, it's, it's a cute, cartoony, graphical style. It is actually a role-playing game, although we've not got that bit of the game yet. And, um, conveniently, there are aliens who think your sibling is a sweet. Clearly at this point we're running from plot point to plot point. There's not really a lot of interactivity so far. You can skip the whole the whole thing by uh, pressing the red button, whichever one that is. B is it? Uh, from which you'll know I'm playing with my Xbox controller, which works pretty well. But you can't make the, the story bits just speed up. So you can't have the story quicker. You can have it at this speed, or you can not have it. Which is a little bit annoying. And now you get to see why the game's called Costume Quest. Into the 
thing, a bit more costume represents. Total hipster witch. I'm a feisty little robot. Uh, and so the witch is stolen or destroyed my costume. Which, of course. Secret power. And strangely, a car has crashed and cut me off from the gate. Which is a little convenient. So I reach my lowest ebb, and a cat comes to my aid. Blueprints for my robot costume. Halloween is saved. If I can now just get the parts. So now I'm going to use my bag of sweets as a weapon. So, mash pumpkins. Pick up sweets. Sweets in the rubbish, I'm not sure, but there is. And look, here is a box. How handy. And here is some aluminium foil, or possibly aluminium foil depending on uh, your, your opinion of the Americanness of the game. Hey. Ta-da! Roller shoes! And I'm back! And... Even my aim is poor. Even my aim is poor, I can now speed along with my roller shoes. And obviously the incompetent aliens have managed to uh, provide me with a ramp. And, uh... Aha. Uh -huh. I will scoot over the ramp. If I can aim. There we go. I can aim. And I've completed the quest. Now at least 
got this one. You just came through, You're right. Program for protection is here on my quests. You can see I've completed one, I've got another one. This is uh, totally like an RPG game. I'm not programmed for failure. Uh, you might hit nerds. So now I've got to run away. I've got to run away at high speed. Over the ramp. Totally impressing everybody. Ta-da! <laughs> Travis gets what he deserves. The car that conveniently crashed earlier is removed. And I've completed another quest. Well, not visited yet. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. But I can't go over ramps, evidently. Can I stop? Can I switch? How do I select? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do yet. Anyway, that's enough Halloween videoing for one day. Let's, um, ooh. Trick or treat! Lots of candy. So now, what have I done? I've trick or treated three of twenty houses and I've completed two quests. So, that massive Halloween success, I will leave it there. Um, for, for two quid while it's on sale over the weekend. This is definitely worth getting. It's not, you know, it's not the most spectacular game by any means, but it's quite entertaining and fun. And well, well, good value for money.